Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs. Welcome to another Noobcast. This is Blavis. We've got a PVT on... Oh, shit. What's the name of this freaking map again? I don't know, but it's Pedo. Pedo's back, baby. Pedo. Pedo. Isn't that mean I walk in Spanish? Pedo? Or foot or something like that? I don't know. His opponent, the Protoss player, Varkala. Welcome to Newcast. If you're unfamiliar, well, get familiar, damn it. We're all about low level play, good low level play, fun, exciting to watch, entertaining low level play, occasionally educational. We try to keep though ignorance at bay as much as possible. However, uh, I find that I am often more ignorant than even many of you most of the time. So, um, you know, we try not to hide that fact either. But we are all about finding two similar level players that have a drive and desire to kill one another. And usually when you put those things together, you get pretty fun games for the most part. Um, but not always, you know. People tend to need to be aggressive and such and such to get their games on Noobcast because, you know, we don't like turtlers or we don't like games where it's like one attack and done or, you know, like lame games. We want entertainment, man. Are you not entertained? That's what we want. We want entertainment. And, well, at least you want entertainment or, you know. I'm not cool enough for people to watch only because of me. The game's got to be... The game's got to be at least a little bit good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but that's what we do here at Noobcast. If you would like to have your games cast on Noobcast, send your replays to noobcast at gmail.com. I will get them screened. And if they are groovy, McGrooverson, if they rock the socks off my screener, he will give me the go ahead and I will cast your game get up on YouTube for you then you can show your friends and tell them show them how awesome you are or uh, what a good game you played or whatever the case may be um, we want all good games you know uh, the the guys that I find have the um, the best success here at Noobcast are the ones who don't just send in their wins but send in their really awesome losses as well. They're fewer and far between. Most people think that if they lost, then it wasn't a good game, period. Um, a couple of you have learned that uh, win or lose, you know, great games happen because there's a lot of action in the game. There's good back and forth. There's um, maybe some surprises, some... Um, really good back and forth battling the only way you really find those out is if you watch your replays you know that and that goes for your wins and your losses if you win your games and you feel great after them but you don't go back and watch you don't really know if it was a good game or not you see two gate robo out this is silver level by the way uh definitely need to get that out there this is silver level replay um so you could probably tell a little bit just by the builds that we're seeing um so yeah you could win a game and really feel like it was a great game and feel good after it feel like you were on the edge of your seat but if you don't watch the replay you don't know you could have been ahead the whole time it could have been actually a very bad game not based on your gameplay, because we don't really judge things by gameplay here at Noobcast, uh, because we anticipate bad gameplay. Look at this. Barcala going for the very early Warp Prism, wants to be doing some uh, early harassment, and there's lots of space on this map, on these bases, to do things like that. You can basically warp in a gigantic army behind your enemy's lines and uh, and do really well. Factory going down for Beido. Still some room for that Warp Prism to do some serious damage, if he so chooses. 
However, he's only got two gateways. And he's not expanding, so if he is planning on kind of going all in here, he should at least get one more gateway if he's going to drop do some kind of uh, gateway drop over here using the warp prism. So anyway, uh, not only can you win and have bad games, but you can lose. And if you lose, just for the sake of improvement, you should be watching your replay. You should be watching replays of every game that you lose. This is just, um, that's how you improve. Winning means nothing if you're trying to improve. If you're trying to get better at this, this game, you should be watching every single, uh, a replay of every single game that you lose in the hopes of finding out why you lost so that you, who, oh, this is terrible. Pedo, why are you queuing buildings? You know, you guys know that this green, uh, whatever that's called, this, this green silhouette of a building costs the same amount as this building that's being built right now. This green building costs the same, this green silhouette costs the same amount of money as this already built starport. They cost the same. Why are you queuing buildings like that? That's terrible. Always send out more than one. And look at this. Is Can he see? Of course he can see. Of course he can see. Oh, no. I hit. I hit. Oh, so sorry. So, so sorry. I hit B instead of V. Because I wanted vision, and I just misclicked. I'm sorry. I wanted to see if he had vision of the war prism that's about to appear. Yes, he does see it. Immediately turns around. And he's just going to come anyway. Why? Why? I mean, I guess these buildings provide a nice barrier here for his... Um, attack his units and he's only got two gateways oh the tank comes out and these guys aren't even paying attention look how fast the tank fires the tank fires so fast get the immortals out of there bruh peace out fly away fly away fly away stalker was like no please no please take me with you please oh, please take me with you <laughs> so yeah that was a little weird but um, appreciative. I appreciate that kind of aggression in players. Those are what kind of makes games interesting. One of the many things. Um, especially lower levels. You gotta kind of be aggressive at lower level if you want to have a good time. And here is Varkala getting that expansion. Looks like he wants to move in again with his immortals. But he is within vision. So, uh, and now he's got four gates. So he's got four stalkers coming in. But here comes the huge army of Marines. And Marines absolutely destroy Immortals. Utterly destroy them. So, yeah, get on out of there. So basically, that time you just donated five stalkers. I don't even know if you killed... Oh, I guess you killed a few marines because there's blood splattered on them. Uh, and up go the turrets. All right. Uh, SCVs. Pedo. Look at that. Yeah, get it back to work, bruh. What are you doing? Way too long for any number of SCVs to be sitting around. Oh, look at all this energy. Why aren't you dropping mules? Mules, 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 mules. Mules, mules, mules. Oh my goodness. There you go. There you go. Dump all that energy. All of the energy. Dump it all. Nice job, nice job. Gonna get a huge economic boost here. Look at Barkala almost mined out in the main here. He has only got one probe over here and he's not making any more. Surprise. He's got way too many guys mining here. This is all. Oh my goodness. This is 25. Yeah, he needs to take like five of those, five or six of those probes and send them over to the other base. War Prism, do not fly over there. You will die because there are turrets everywhere. So, 
yeah, like I was saying, to finish my thought, more starports. What is he doing? Is he going, uh... Why are you making Vikings pay you? I don't understand. Some of you guys... And this will be an educational moment. You've seen what your opponent is doing. Like, he saw that Verkala is basically Gates and Robo. Nothing out of those two buildings can fly. Nothing. Nothing can fly. Unless he was just making that one so that he could scout. But now he sees the Colossus, so yeah. I guess he can make a few Vikings for the Colossus, but now he's got... He's going to make Banshee? I don't know. I'm confused. And this is... This kind of thing comes part and parcel with casting low-level games is because you really do never know what's going to happen. Like, seriously, you never know what's going to happen. We've got a Colossus, mostly Stalkers, almost no Zealots, so Hellions are going to be kind of worthless against this composition. Like, really worthless. Unless you're going to use them to harass. Um... If Pedo, yeah, they're all dead. Dead. Goodbye, Hellions. Didn't even get by. But now he knows all of the army composition. There's three Zealots in this composition. Unless, if you're going to harass, you can make some Hellions uh, as a Terran. But if you see that there's... The only unit that Hellions do really well against are Zealots in a Protoss army. So, if you don't see that there's lots of zealots then by all means don't make hellions don't make a lot of hellions and look you're still making hellions stalkers siege tanks really good against stalkers marines are really good at no uh, marauders really good against stalkers marines are good against your immortals look at that is that a turret that they just killed i think it was but Colossus really good. Get that vision on the high ground. Anyway, um, Marines really good against Zealots, Immortals, all of your tanky units because they have such high DPS and they're ranged units, so you guys have to get up close. This Viking doing a good job, just scouting around. Not a bad thing for a Vi not a bad a bad idea for a Viking. Now he's going to move this over, and now he's making Banshees. A lot of Banshees apparently. Pedo, you've got five SCVs that are not working, bro. You gotta get on that. You gotta keep those guys working. Right now, you look at the unit tab, you are behind by seven workers, and five of your workers aren't even working. So, you gotta get on top of that, bro. In fact, um,. I like this on a map like this with the siege tanks like that. Um, I do appreciate that. What are you doing with this? Why am I doing that? Holy cute, Batman! Pedo! That is one, two, three, four hundred minerals you're not using somewhere else. Um, I mean, granted, you probably wouldn't be using it. Is this all Hellions? What are you doing, bruh? Do you have the blue flame, at least? Do you? You do. Okay, good. Getting cloaked for those banshees. Uh, here's the observer, though, for Varkala, and he's got lots of stalkers. And banshees are pretty much class cannons, so... Where are you going, bro? There's nothing out there. You're just gonna go after that one stalker? You might be able to kill a Stalker with that many Hellions. Maybe. How about upgrades? How are we doing with upgrades? eBay. No upgrades. Um, Protoss has upgrades. Protoss is plus one. And he's moving out. And you could be in trouble, Peido. Uh-oh. 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 Is he going to sneak in and try and get... Oh, yeah. He's running by. Forget it, kid. Line him up, baby. Line him up. Line him up, probes. What is happening? So many probes dying. What are you... Oh, my goodness. This is what you call... Not... Oh, my goodness. So many probes dying. So many probes... Oh, my goodness. Hey, 
Jericho just killed a crap ton of probes. Lost all those Hellions, but he just killed 30 probes. Holy crap. Holy crap. Now, granted, um, he doesn't have much of an army left. He's way behind an army supply. But that was pretty darn cool. And, uh, Let's check that worker supply too. And look at that. He but he just put himself even though he hasn't been making any workers like since ever. Oh, and here come the banshees from the back. Oh my goodness. This should be devastating. This might even be the game. Um this many banshees coming back. He just lost all of his workers. He's mined out in the main. Stalkers coming back. There is the Oh man. Barcala is not going to have any... Oh, he's going to push him over to the third. And there's the scan on the third, so Paido sees it right away. Down goes the Nexus. Gotta get out of there. Observer just now getting in. But all of those Banshees are going to get away, every single one of them. One-shotting stalkers. Barcala needs to, uh, he brought back his entire army for this. This was a mistake. And now he just lost his first Banshee. And sending him more Banshees! No, 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 no! Why are you rallying? What is happening? Where? How? Oh my goodness. How did that even happen? What in the world, crap? So Varkala basically has eight probes. <laughs> ah, that's funny. 35 to 16. I think. Let's check it out. 14 to 35. Yep. So, you know, Paydoke's still content to uh, only have one. But he, he's got three Kalat. And this army is scary, man. This is a big army. He's got three Kalat. He's got three mortals in the back. Zealots have charge. Yes, they do. And Varkala could literally get in here and clean this up. Totally. That's exactly what he's going to do. He actually wrecks this army. And he's plus two. And this planetary fortress is not going to be able to finish. And down it goes. And I don't know. He does have these siege tanks. So he could be... He needs to pull back. Where is the observer? Does he have the observer with this army? does not have an observer. So all these banshees are just wrecking his crap. And that's it, man. Paydo absolutely wrecks Varkala, and Varkala cannot... There's no way he can come back. He's got, like, zero income. Actually, he's bounced back as far as making probes. He's doing okay. Yeah, see? Observer. Yeah, you needed one of those before, brah. He needed one of those before. Now he can basically just go and wreck shop with all these Banshees. Game will be over. Um, tanks playing defensive. This was, and this is what I mean when I say, you know, we don't take gameplay into consideration because obviously there are tons of bad things that happened in this game, right? Tons of bad things. And now, is going to come in here, and he's going to be able to wreck shop. Does he not have energy on some of those? I guess he does. But these Banshees are actually in trouble here. There's an Observer with them. Probes going down. As long as um, Beido can uh, keep harassment on these guys, really don't. Varkala can't come back in this game. Let's check out the income. It's like tripling his income. His income. Uh, but yeah, you know we don't we don't take gameplay into account on a huge level when we watch. When we screen these games, I specifically tell the screeners, um, you know, it doesn't matter if a game if a game is played well or badly. What matters is entertainment, right? We want to be entertained. We want to see back and forth games. And 
So I don't want you to feel self-conscious about sending in your games to noobcast at gmail.com because you feel like your gameplay was bad or you played badly. That is not uh, a factor, really, as to whether or not your game is going to be cast. What is a factor is... Now, look at this. He's going back. Oh, okay. There is an observer coming. It's like he's moving out. There's cloak banshees all over the place. And... He's moving out without an observer. And this is all he has, so he's got to blink up in the high ground and hope he can get, catch these banshees. And they're just going to do damage, pick away. Peido can just sit back, he can expand, he can make orbitals, he can do all kinds of stuff. He's got tons of money. Well, he's been spending it alright, so he doesn't have tons of money anymore. Um, but this is the only place where Valkala is working, and he needs to actually... Well, he's not even mining gas, so I don't know what he thinks he's doing. He's got a ton of gas. I guess he doesn't need to mine gas. And there go the Hellions again. Which, granted, the Hellions gave him the lead in this game, but under normal circumstances, <laughs> that's not going to happen. So you don't want to... That's the other thing about Noobcast. You don't watch this game... You don't watch these games in order to learn build orders. You know what I mean? You are not watching Noobcast in order to learn how to beat players. Oh no, more Hellions. Roasty Toasty Pro Barbecue. Oh my goodness. That's it. Markala says I've had enough. Throws up the GG. And let's see if he actually leaves the game. He gets a GG, but he's not left yet. Which hopefully he doesn't feel as though that's okay. If you're going to say GG, you have to leave. You can't chill. Anytime. There we go. Markala has left the game, but Peido has not. Hey guys, do me a favor. This extends your replay time for like 5-10 minutes sometimes you guys do this just to kill buildings. None of us are interested in watching you kill buildings. None of us. And this screen is really ugly to me and I hate to put it in my videos. So please, when your opponent leaves, you leave. <laughs> I appreciate it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you're watching your replays, but when you get a good game, send it to noobcast at gmail.com. Whether you win or lose, because we want to see them both. And frankly, I have a lot more. I, I have a, a considerable, considerably more respect for the guys who send in games they lose, um, because it shows to me at least that uh, shows me several things. It shows me that you're watching your replays. Shows me that you understand quality of game. Um, the quality of a game is not based on whether you win or lose, and that's a good thing to understand and know. Um, and you know, it also shows that, you know, you, you understand that a loss in this game is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. Losing in StarCraft is the only way to get better. Uh, like White Ross said, obviously, more GG, more skill. Uh, and the reason for that is losing is the only way you learn. It's the only way you ever learn. And watching your losses, watching the replays, figuring out why I lost, and trying to fix it. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't play enough. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this game. Keep sending your replays in. I'm actually starting to get a wee bit low. Um, guys like Soul Steel and Fats are keeping the queue going. Uh, but guys, keep in keep on sending games. And uh, as always, keep climbing that ladder. Peace.